Hello, everybody. This is Beetle G. Welcome back to Nino Kuni, the first one. So, I have managed to make it to the Brone Brigadier. This is our bounty target. I I managed to so okay. Tiny bit of farming off screen. I literally like two or three combats. I got our main dude to level 14. I got. Ah, uh, we're getting majorly boned here. I <laughs> get it. So, I thought I'd give this a try since I was right next to him, and it's actually looking like it's going pretty good. Ow. Okay. Oh, we gotta switch. Okay. So now we do a, a little healing touch. And then we do a little bit of fireball, a little bit of frostbite. Let's see what's which one's better. Oh, frostbite's pretty good. Who knew? Frostbite. Hey, guess what? Uh, for frostbite? Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so it should only be one hit, and we're good. Smack him. Ooh, it's easy pickings today. So now, we get to turn this guy in, and we get the shield. That's what I was so excited about. So he, this bounty, will provide us with a nice shield that our main familiar can equip. And this should give us a severe edge on this boss that we were fighting. Couple more combats don't hurt. Kind of. Do Don't it. kill us, please. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. Smack him. Smack him. And you know what? I'm actually going to try this. Oh no. Get out of the zone. You're taking a lot of damage. Let's try the monkey out. He can also take a lot of damage really quick. But <laughs> we did it. Um, yeah, so I'm interested to see what other familiars there are. I don't think this is, I don't think this is the team. I am digging the, the dude with the sword and shield. He's pretty cool. Seems to be fairly decently strong and not weak as well. Not, uh, taking a lot of damage. Okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed uh, Swift Solutions. We were right there. Okay. Give me that beautiful, glorious shield. Claim the bounty. Ooh. Shinboard shield. Okay. I'm just looking to see what we want next. Maybe Jack in the Box. Uh, the foraging is okay. But we, we don't forage that often. To make that like super worth it. Check this just in case. Nothing there. And let's equip our beautiful bone shield. Much more defense. Still a chance to auto block, which I love. And now let's. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go save real quick. Or sleep. I don't care to do this, but I don't think we get healed when we go to the other world, so I'd rather go into this boss fight with full HP, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Very nice, pleasant music. Oh, accidentally made two saves. We'll just save on one of them. Perfect. Can we just... Gateway! <laughs> we can just do it in here. That's perfectly fine. That's good. I, I'm glad, because it, it doesn't really matter where we use it. So I'm, I'm glad they don't force us to go to a specific location. Let's look. We gotta go straight across. Got a little, little bit of a far run, but that's okay. 
Uh, we're not going to make it farther <laughs> for ourselves. And it sounds like this is going to unlock the next kind... Uh, sorry, the next... Enthusiasm? Next feeling? Because he is that without kindness? Heart without kindness. So uh, let's try this out. Skip it. We have seen this before. Okay. I hope it's not doubling those. So let's try to smash it. This, uh, hard heart is what we want to defend against. Ow. That is quite painful. Yeah, we're just missing left and right. Come on, come on. You got this, you got this. We're going back, we're recharging our stamina real fast, real quick. Let's do a frostbite. It's always pretty nice. Oh, 29 damage. That's what you deserve. Um, we might end up using an iced coffee. Uh, let's cast a spell first. Ah! Damn it! <sighs> okay. This is fine. This is fine. Um, we're gonna switch back. I'm imagining blindness affects our spell casting as well. I, I, I. Oop. I'm gonna try it. It might actually not. God, he has a lot of HP. Oh! We got it off! Oh my god. I saw him doing the hard heart. Don't make me hard. That's my job. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. So it looks like he might be easy to... Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I want to heal up. I'm feeling a little sketched out. A lot better. And I can just press up on the D pad apparently. Ooh! I'll just defend here. It's an easy defend. Take a couple damage. That's okay. Sign me up for that every time. Ah, I was hoping for the contract there. No, get out of there. Switch. Ow. Healing touch. Necessary right here. Maybe a little bit of a uh, frostbite. Thank you. Stop chasing me, please. A little bit of frostbite. I need to be a little bit more careful with my mana now. I didn't get the counter attack there. Let's try my best. We're out of the fumes. Uh, very close to going in it. Ow. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, and this was easy win. There we go. Oh my god. I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared for a minute. We did it. That's right. You and me both, boy. Two, three hundred experience. He's leveled up. Brick, yes. That makes me very happy. Honey, did this boy beat you up? Betty, stay away from me. His heart is still broken. Of course it is. We only got rid of the nightmare, mun. Mending his heart is a whole other problem. These nightmares, just what are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties, only they're born from broken hearts and they latch onto them and sort of possess them, see? And Shadar is behind the nightmares too. Look at him, Ollie boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pod, ain't it? 
What Shadar's done, he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking his soulmate over here in your world. He's attacking people in my world now. Looks like it, eh? And if we don't mend his heart, he might be taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out, Ollie boy. You saw what he was like before, ain't it? It's pretty obvious from what he's missing. It's a man-sized helping of kindness. I'm assuming we get it from his wife. A real kind person. Oh, honey. Well, well, well. Looks like you don't have to look far. Okay. Yes, that's right. I have something to ask you. Could I borrow a little of your kindness? I'm sorry, dear. I don't think I quite... I need it to make Mr. Cartwright better. Please, I need it so that I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stands even the smallest chance of helping my husband, then sure, I'll do it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cartwright. Alright, so we take heart. And we give heart. Beauty. Ah, oh, generosity. Just a little bit of kindness. Tidy, that means it worked, ain't it? Now give it to Rusty, that's good lad. Give heart. Oh, stop talking to him. Just leave me alone. Come on, Mun, hurry up. Hand over the kindness. Just a just a tiny bit of kindness goes a long way. Here we go. Oh, he's all better now. Get up from the floor, you sad sod. <laughs> honey, oh honey. What am I doing here? Did I do something? Did you do something with your hair? You're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Tidy, it worked. Ah, marital bliss, eh? That's lovely. Excuse me, uh, what do you think you're doing? This is no time to be interrupting. Let's leave them to it and tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with her folks, shall we? Guess you're right. Let's go. All right. Easy boss fight. I'm glad we went and uh, leveled up a couple times. I don't, I don't remember how many exactly it was. I think it was three. We tried it at level 11 first, and it was, it was a pretty challenging fight. Would have taken us quite a bit of, quite a bit of effort. Quite a bit of, con uh, <gasps> things that you use. Consumables. <laughs> Oliver, what is it? Well, uh, if my father sees you, he'll... Oh no, he's nice now. Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Daily beating. Go on out and now. play, Myrtle. But, Father. Sweetheart, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me. And I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here. Maybe it was me. <laughs> Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while. Helicopter outside. Lose the it's thing not the first time. Together, that we, we wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... You were something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. Father, Father, I. It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Father. Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh. Daddy, I do. Are those tears bent in? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Right, they just did all this in front of a stranger Oliver? child. Like, who is this hmm? kid in your room, by the way? He was harassing me at my try. shop. I'm going to go outside. <laughs> Will you come with me? Yes. Myrtle. Look, nothing happened. It's outside. And then we have the exact same reunion scene when we go back to the magic world. Oh my god, she did it! Uh, oh! Myrtle! I did it! Oliver, I did it! <laughs> I'm outside! 
I'm outside. <laughs> that is actually very oh, cute. That is beautiful. Oh my god, so many alarms, <laughs> so many phone calls. <sighs> Oliver, thank you so much. I'm so happy for you, Myrtle. I couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again and meet new people and buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was so scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Listen to her, Mun. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you could shake a stick at. I can feel it all the way from over here. That's There's someone in Alma Moon who could really use some of that courage. Nice thinking, Ollie boy. A drop of Myrtle's newfound bravery is just what we need to kickstart young Esther's recovery. Something the matter, Ollie? Myrtle, I, uh, I know a girl who's just like you, and she's going through something terrible. You're so brave. I wanted to know if you'd let me give some of your courage to this girl, to help her and to help her family. How do we do that? We use magic, and I know just the spell. Sure, go ahead. Take your heart. Oh. We got courage. So now we've seen courage, kindness, and excitedness. I don't remember what it is. It's not empathy, that's for sure. Okay. It feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally start to get better. We've got some courage to deliver, ain't it? Let's get going. Sure. Myrtle, I have to go now. Wish your friend good luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. We're going. We're going home. Here we go. Gun down. Boop, boop. Wow. Ooh, and I think we get some cool new spells from this dude. And gold. Perfectly fine with me. Three ten gold. Trying to keep an eye out for other glowy pots. There's one over there. I would like some items. Ooh, it's a pear! Blindness be gone. Oliver? It's just like I thought. We've opened her heart back up again. You can mend it for her now. Give her some courage. Oh, it's beautiful. We're sharing some of our courage. A little courage in a bottle. This is called a beer. What is this? You just killed my daughter. Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Yep. Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Ah, dear oh, daughter. forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my heart. Oh. Oliver. It is you who taught me this. My, my chair is too squeaky now. You have I need to get a new chair. Face. You're welcome, Mr. Rashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. Fuck yes. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Clarion. Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our Oh my god, look at that horn. Their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized <laughs> great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since Years. the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. It's up to us. The clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. Yeah. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. If this 12-year-old can fight the biggest evil known to the world, then I can too. I have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. Oh, he's cute. I love him. 
Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's talents lie in the training and handling of familiars. So she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Fair enough. Useful folks to have around they are. This is my Drongo. His name is Gogo. Say hello, Gogo. Whoa! We actually have people to help us now. Let's get down to business. You remember what young Oliver came here for, ain't it, Rashad? I, I do. You wish to learn the arts of the sages, do you not? Then you will need these spells. Puppet string. Connect a range of delicious... Dele Concoct a range of delicious... Secret ingredient. <laughs> I'm done reading that sentence. Magic lamp. Bring light to even the darkest nook. Pulse. Unleash a wave of pure energy upon your enemies. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. Sage? Sir, I am satisfied that you do not lack the determination required. You came here from another world to face Shadar, after all. Who knew? About me from being from an... You knew? It was your actions that revealed your origins to me. You healed Esther when I could not. You, which told me you must have helped her soulmate in the other world. And only one who could called that world home could have done such a thing. Wow, so Oliver's from the other world you told me about, Father. And he was the one who saved me. Yes, it is strange. It feels like I've met you in a dream or something. Oliver, it seems there are things that only one such as you can do. You may be able to help our world. You shall have my aid. Perhaps, but you will need much training first. Without complete command of the magical arts, you cannot hope to defeat him. The four sages could not overcome the dark djinn. For a mere boar to do so, you will require more than enthusiasm alone. What are you thinking? He's going to need to cram a shed load of experience under his belt in a heck of a short time, ain't he? Indeed he is, the kind of experience offered by the trials of the sages. Oliver, you must undertake them. In the north of the desert, at the Temple of Trials. The Temple of Trials, you mean? I do, the home of the Supreme Sage, Master of Familiars. You too have much to learn, Esther. Only those with the Supreme Sage's blessing are permitted to open the doors of the temple. I will accompany you. you you'll be great at the trials, Oliver. I know you will. Okay. Suddenly, we tripled our party. This is amazing. So, let me look. Ah, oh, I did not know that we were going to actually have other people. So... So if we if we remove Oh no, we can't remove. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we can give them our equipment. That's pretty cool. Scales. So I I imagine so now she's gonna fight with me. I'm I'm curious. I I, I assume we just control Oliver and Oliver's people. And then she'll control herself and her stuff. And then we can use... I, I was very confused by... Uh, where's our magic? This, it said... It, well, it says heal an ally. And I'm like, well, the only ally out ever is us or ourself. So we can only heal Ollie. Okay, he's got kindness overflowing. Take your heart. Beautiful. So now we have uh, enthusiasm, kindness, and we need to look for courage. There it is. <laughs> you see it on the map. He's the green dot. Uh, but first, let's talk to these people because they have something to do with one of our quests. What is wrong with you? Yesterday, you told me you would return it. Hey, you two, stop fighting. What's the problem? The problem is the thief will not return the picture book I lent him. It is only a picture book and a poor one at that. Who cares? Ah, they want some kindness. Well, lucky for you. Give heart. We have some kindness on hand. Hopefully we can find some more. That would be pretty nice. But it's okay if we can't at the moment. What happened? I intended to return the picture book, but then I... You meant to return it? But of course, I will go and fetch it now. Forgive my selfishness. This kid just gave us two cups of strong coffee. I would like to point out I am also a pretty small child. Coffee is not great for them. Talk to him. Curses, I lack the necessary ingredients. It is known as the Tikka Mahala. According to the recipe, it is complex and refined curry made from the tenderest and most succulent beef. 
If you gather ingredients for me, you will have the honor of being the first to taste the Tikka Mahala, Tikka Mahala since ancient times. The king of curries. Some fluffy rice, tender beef, and a pinch of Sheik's special spices. But I have heard there is one known as the Sheik of Spice somewhere in this fair city. Well, that sounds like a good place to start. Let's shake a leg and find ourselves a Sheik, shall we? If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Good luck, my friends. So we haven't been over here. Oh, you may not go before the Khalifa without the permission of Master Ab Abu. I don't know who the master is. I don't know where the master is. Alright, we're gonna head over here. And we're gonna pick up some more kindness. Someone is a sheik of spices. We're, we're gonna find him. We're gonna sniff him out. She is brave. Here's some courage. We need to steal it. Take heart. I mean... Uh, just borrow a little bit. No big deal. A little bit of courage. Beauty. Let me check out this dude over here. Oh, he wants some enthusiasm. Jeepers, jeepers. What, what do you need? Yes. Oh, he's the Sheik of Spice. This is perfect. It's all coming together. It all works out. You just walk down the hall, take some... Oh, whoops. That's the wrong one. Whoop, whoop! I'm trying to get to the front of the city to end this episode, but my god. We're just too good. Complete and side quests left and right. I'm in your debt. Sheik of Spices. Okay, so now we need to talk to him. And if you have any spice-related requests... I would be most honored to hear them. My special spices. Where did you hear talk of such things? Keep your hair on, matey. Who runs that curry st Matey who runs that curry stall asked us, ain't it? He needs ingredients for his tikka mahala. But I do not have all the ingredients required. You must bring me those I am lacking. A turmeric root and three generous pinches of spicy seeds. Okay. So I imagine these are all things we're going to have to go and forage for, which now that foraging skill is looking mighty fine. Does this guy need some courage? Because we got courage to spare and not much else. Okay. Uh, sure, you are a kind-hearted child. I'm preparing myself. A village in the ice realm. Why the flip not? I, I'm, I'm skipping a lot of this. Okay, he wants some courage. Well, lucky for me, I have some courage right here in my bottle. Oh, by the beards of the ancients, I am filled with such courage. He gave us three carrot cakes. How, how nice of him. You, you really, you really... You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Okay. So now, I go out here. We're going to have to go look for some ingredients. But that should not be too much of a hassle. In fact, I'm actually going to really quickly go back to Swift Solutions. Because they may have more quests and more fights now that we've finished the main quest area. Bounty Hunts. Perfect. Oh, Precious Roots. Babana Thief. Flame Roads and Milk Chocolate. Okay, just looking around, just looking around. Ooh, ask the Sheik for some of his special spices. That's what we're on right now, okay. Excellent. Well, this seems like a good place to call it a day. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Come back tomorrow for uh, some very exciting trials, it sounds like, and probably a lot more leveling up. So, see you guys tomorrow. Bye!